Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to TFT Tarot for today. Divine Dabblings with Oberon and me, Banshee. Oh. If Bly makes three. If Bly is here in the middle of us, you know what time it is. It's the unhappy hour. And we have to tell you where it hurts, but only with the best of intentions in mind. Am I right? Right, because we hope to turn that frown upside down. Back into a smile. So the unhappy hour is a uh, collective reading for the elemental signs of the zodiac. It's kind of similar to most of some of our other readings where we just and read. the and the world also, and also of course the world. I was going to get to that. <laughs> okay, don't we make, added that. Don't make me unhappy. <laughs> I shall not. Okay. And so, what deck do we use for this reading? We use. <clears throat> Perfectly enough, the this, this might, might hurt tarot deck. <laughs> because it might, it might, the truth hurts sometimes. And that is by Isabella Rotman. Very nice deck. I enjoy using this deck. Not just for happy hour. Well done, Elizabeth. Well done. Elizabeth. So we are going to start off with the air signs. Yes, air signs. Uh, Gemini, Gemini Libra, Libra, and, and Aquarius. Aquarius. This is for you. And it apparently makes us unhappy to even have to say your names. <laughs> just want to sort of... Oh, uh, no, it does not. No, Gemini is my rising sign, after all. All right, Mr. I'm going to let you shuffle. I'm sorry, I'm hogging the deck here. I know you want to get your energy into this. It seems like you only just started. Scorpionic type reading. <laughs> well, yes, it, one would would think that you know the idea of exploring what makes you unhappy. Pain. Pain is sort of a scorpionic, you know, trope. Indeed. Oh, so right, our everybody. first card then is what is it or will it be that is making the air signs unhappy right now? Where does it hurt? All right, first card. Let's see. And they're all read, by the way, reversed. Upside down. Oh, it's the chariot. I should let you do that, Mr. Yep. O. It's the chariot reversed. Oh, my goodness. Well, of course, you know, um, uh, <clears throat> air signs, you want to keep things moving maybe. You are you feel like you were on a roll with something important to you, whether it was a relationship, you know, a new job, something, of a, a project or a goal that's very important to you, milestone to reach. But it seems like things are at a standstill. Or you may feel you're being blocked by somebody yes. else's uh, maneuvers. Nice. Ooh, that could hurt. Okay. So, what's the next one? What, uh, how can, how will you be dealing with this situation? Or are dealing with it right now. The hanged man reversed. So... Well, well, maybe you want to go knock heads. Maybe you're not willing to, you know, necessarily back down totally, although you're feeling blocked. Maybe you're feeling resistant to any underlying message or idea there that might be something you should understand or take in. I do like that. I like this idea of resistance. Um, I feel here that you might be resisting the knowledge and wisdom, you know, the things that you have been uh, thinking about this situation, you bet, or maybe information that's come to you. In other words, I think it's kind of like denial. 
That's what I'm thinking. You're denying some truths, some things that you know to be true, you're denying in this situation, and it may be contributing to the problem. If this was some sort of larger-than-life challenge or some aspiration of yours, you're not willing to see that maybe, you know, you were wrong about its importance or about your ability to actually enact that or, or move in that direction. Well, guess who's in here again? Ah, uh, yes. Well, there are no cups no of room. water to uh, spill. Ah, yes, there's <laughs> cups of coffee. But there are spill. cups of coffee. This would be bad. So I have. I to guess you'll have eye. to give up the coffee to me. I can save. Uh, I have to keep an eye and make sure he does. All not right. So do card that three. Again. Why are the air signs' feelings justified, or perhaps are, are they not? Are they your feelings justified? Well, or it should be why are your feelings justified? Because you, do feel you like have that. these feelings. I'm sorry, we mess up that question. It's the Ace of Swords reversed because again, you are hoping for some major achievement or accomplishment here, some victory, some positive move forward. And so, of course, you're feeling a little bit disappointed in the progress or lack thereof. Your feelings are justified because you feel, just like the first card says, kind of thwarted. So I am leaning more towards the idea that this may be some intrapersonal struggle uh, for you know, proprietary ship of a situation of some sort. I have another interesting thought here, Mr. O. Uh -huh. If you combine that with what was uh, what I said about the hanged man, maybe this is about you, your feelings are justified because maybe you realize, you're starting to realize that your thoughts are deceiving you. Remember how I said you were ignoring or in a state of denial about uh, some yes. truths or whatever? Well, of course, the ace is about epiphanies and uh, things this is in reverse. Maybe, you know, you're starting to realize that denial is causing the problem. So, finally then, how will you be able to turn that frown upside down? Wow. <laughs> by working through it, by not getting lazy, by not getting unmotivated. You have to find, you have to find that spark again that set you into this direction that you wanted to go, this thing that you were hoping for. You just have to put in the work now and effort in turning this around. And I think that also means putting in the work and effort in changing your mindset. Maybe you forgot certain protocols or certain uh, lessons or skills or how, you know, to do certain things. Maybe you forgot talents or skills that you needed to be able to do whatever it is you're doing here. And so you need to go back to your basics, go back to, you know, uh, whatever it is that will help you reinstill your values or your training or how you normally do something. Well, I like that because it also ties into what I said in a way that, you know, you're in denial about something here. Maybe you thought you were more prepared to move something forward than you actually are. And so there is merit there. I like that. Um, let's recap, shall we? All right. All right. So quickly, uh, air signs, there's something you've been wanting to move forward and it is at a stall. It has encountered roadblocks, you know, if you're in the, in the road ahead. And so you're feeling frustrated. You're feeling upset. Or you've been outmaneuvered by a rival. Uh, and why... Uh, how are you dealing with this right now or will be? Well, by kind of being in a state of denial, not recognizing some truths that you really need in order to understand what's going wrong here. There may be specific reasons why this happened, but you are in denial. You don't want to accept them. You think maybe it's something else. And so are your feel are your feelings justified? Well, in a sense, yes. You were hoping for some major victory, some important thing here. And now you're starting to realize maybe the truth of the matter lies up here, lies within your mindset. And you may feel that, you know, you dropped your guard and somebody got an advantage over you. Ultimately, you really need more preparation. If you want to turn that frown upside down and get things moving, you have to make sure you have the proper skills, materials, everything you need 
as well as the motivation you once had for this. Make sure that you're still in it to win it, because if you're not, it's time to move on. These are things that maybe you know deep down inside, but you may have forgotten for some reason, and so you basically need a refresher course to put you back, you know, where you should be. Nice read um, for you, Air Signs. Good luck with that. All right, Air Signs. This is very doable for you. It is. All right, let's move on to our fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. It's almost Aries season. I right, just we will throw be that out there. ready to start the astrological uh, wheel once again with the beginning of Aries coming uh, in just a few weeks in March. I just can't wait. It's the start of my month long birthday festivities. Oh, the fun. <laughs> I think I want you to get me a Roomba. A Roomba. You know, they say don't get vacuum cleaners and stuff for gifts. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's what you want. I think so. Okay. <laughs> it could be very entertaining for the cats, too. Yeah, it could be. You always see those pictures of cats I love fighting it. them and stuff. Although we really do need to clear our floors more for the Roomba to actually... I know it, it will move on around things, but I'd like it to get more of the floor. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this room's got some problems. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Ah! My goodness. What the heck? What the Hades? All right. Let's cut them. Okay, so that's fire signs, and of course, card one is what is or will be making you unhappy. And it's strength reversed. Ooh, maybe somebody, you know, now this is where I see it could be someone. I didn't quite with the last reading, although I saw what you, I, I saw what you meant there. Um... I almost think there may be somebody who's trying to push you or box you into a corner, maybe. Uh, somebody who's exerting a little bit too much influence, trying to manipulate in, you know, in a more physical way, you know, kind of being assertive and aggressive with you, trying to get you to do something, and it's making you very unhappy. Yeah, somebody's trying to get a reaction out of you that's not normal yeah. for you, that you would rather be the kind of person who just wants to talk over difficulties or issues, and someone's trying to put you on the defensive. Uh, it bums you out because I'm sensing that you expect better from this particular person or about the situation that most people, even if they don't know you well, would know that you know this is not the kind of thing to do. So, um, how are you dealing or will be dealing with this situation? Again, Man, in so the same funny. spot. It's the same spot. It's the hangman reverse. So, maybe it's different. possible there's a hidden truth here from card one. Maybe somebody feels that you have been too passive and maybe you didn't like that. What bums you is the confrontation that you sort of like yourself being... Nobody likes the bliss ninny. I don't know what to say here. Well, this is tough because it's in the position of are your feelings justified? So, no, oh, no, it's, it's not. I mean, how are you dealing with it? So right. how are they dealing with it? Well, last time we thought it was about resistance, uh, not being able to or not willing, you know, being in denial, not willing to understand maybe where the other person's perspective is or what the other point of view is in the situation. I really like that. I think that in this case, it's speaking about not really taking in, you know, where the other person may be coming from. Uh there might be a reason they're acting out the way they are with you, and it may be more time to get to the bottom of it, but you are, like, standoffish. You know, it's well, making you feel standoffish. Fire signs, is somebody feeling like maybe you're letting somebody take an advantage of you, and so that's what it is, is they're trying to tell you, no, you should be more assertive here, and, 
and you have your own reasons for perhaps not wanting to be, but you know, kind of rankles you a little bit that people are trying to get you to motivate mm -hmm. for this. Anyway. So, well, okay, now we get to are your feelings justified? And it's the full reverse. Why are your feelings justified? Well, oh, gee. It's one of two things going on here, I feel, that maybe somebody feels you have been behaving recklessly, or maybe you feel that, um, and, and so you're, and you're upset because you don't see it that way. You don't see it that way. Um, the other thing is you might be feeling that they are being very reckless and maybe acting out without thinking about what they're saying. Maybe you feel they are acting in a reckless manner with you. Yeah, it's kind of like maybe you feel that somebody is using shock therapy on you <laughs> or somebody wants to be yeah. a chaos agent and sort of force, um, you know, something different from you that you don't you know that they think is for your own good but you know it takes away your agency and so in a sense that's this card too is you know the full upside down maybe is a sense of your agency being governed by other forces or people or things not by yourself you alone can decide for yourself if you're comfortable in the situation that maybe is going on here and whether or not you should be you know proud of the way you're acting so how can the fire signs turn that frown upside down? Tough love. <laughs> Ace of Cups reverse. Wow. That was the word that came through to me. But obviously there's some more nuance going there. I do think so. <laughs> I do. I almost think you have to accept this as tough love. I hate to say it. Mm. Obviously, if anybody's being violent or overly aggressive, you do need to throw a little bit of shade back. You need to throw a little bit of tough love back. But I feel here that maybe you need to realize that people are doing this ultimately for your own good. Maybe they were a little bit too aggressive in their approach and they could have couched it a little bit differently. But if you look at underlying what's going on here, you may find that you needed to hear this or go, you know, Gee, deal by your with sign, this. maybe it's time to have that conversation. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> awesome. Let's recap. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Bly. <laughs> Hold on tight to Bly. <laughs> so uh, card one perhaps is suggesting that somebody you feel maybe has overstepped their bounds or has done something a little bit out of their nature and it sort of makes you feel defensive a little yes I feel here that maybe they are approaching you in a rather aggressive hostile manner about something they're upset uh, and they're or they want to push something push you to yeah, do something motivate you in some way but they're doing it rather harshly you know maybe they've had enough of your procrastinating for example or it's the just case their perspective right Right. So, okay, so um, how are you dealing with the situation? Well, you're, you're kind of standoffish, you know, you're just not that into the way they're presenting it to you. Uh, you don't really see it that way. You, you don't, don't see it the same way, and I think that'll be clear with the next card, too. You just maybe want to refuse to look at it from another person's point of view. And that's... Well, is that what you're saying about this one? That's here. Okay, right. The mm -hmm. perspective. Yeah, I agree with that. Lack. So, so ultimately, are your feelings justified or why are your feelings justified? Well, I think some of this is about the sense of your agency, you know, being tampered with a little bit. You like to be able to expect things and this puts you in a sense of not necessarily being able to expect certain things. You know, I think you feel I have this attitude of of, uh, I don't want to say devil may care, but you're kind of, you're kind of like, well, why can't I just jump off the cliff if I want to? <laughs> you know, you want to do it a certain way and you want to do it your way, or, you know, you have this certain way of thinking and others are like not happy with it. 
They're not happy with it. And so therefore, I think your feelings are justified. I think too, like I said, it may be that you feel they are speaking, um, you know, maybe you're not taking them seriously because you feel they're just acting out recklessly or vice versa. You're upset that you that they feel you are behaving in a reckless or not a careful manner all right and finally well tough love one way or the other here i think that maybe you have to look at this and really grok it you have to think about it you have to decide is there something to this why are they being so strong in their opinions should i really take a second look at my behavior and accept this and you know say hey maybe you're being a little harsh there but i see your point uh or maybe you should just tell them bug off Ultimately, it may be a kind of impasse situation, and so it won't really matter one way or the other. You will probably move on after this. It's just sort of this time and space right now. Uh, there could be other reasons why people are, are this edgy, and maybe this too shall pass. Well, sure. good luck. Two complicated readings. Let's move on to water. Is it my sh I thought yes. it's your shuffle. No, I did the last one. Really? Because this is the third one. So it would be like the first one you did, okay. then I did the second one. Okay. You You're didn't right. do the first one? I did do the first one. And I did the second one. Be that way. I know you're right. Should we have that conversation? Well, this is the water sign, so Cancer Scorpio. So you want yeah. to be the one doing Pisces. the first deal here. Maybe I do. Maybe. That's right. You're going to cut them for me. I get it now. My bad. Where does it hurt, water signs? We're going to find out. Indeed. But you like pain, right? <laughs> Genius is pain. <laughs> <laughs> you almost spit. Oh dear. Is that not what comes to the floor? The King of Wands reversed you, mean person, you. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do better. Where does it hurt? If that thing pops up in your reading. Boy. I wonder, but you know, crazier things have happened. No, but it is a wand. It's the three of wands. The three of wands is. So reversed. what is or will be making us unhappy? It's the reversed three of wands. <laughs> <coughs> and this could be saying the sense that you feel like new plans that you thought were going to kind of open up. You don't see that exactly happening, or you feel like there could be some delays, or maybe you actually feel, too, that maybe that direction isn't really the direction you want to go in. I think what's making you unhappy is maybe something that you, something in your life that you feel a wanderlust in. For example, your job. Maybe you're not satisfied there anymore. You're seeking something else. Perhaps it's where you live. You're not happy where you live and you're wanting to move somewhere else. Maybe it's, uh, it's travel. You know, you really want to get out. You have that bug to travel, but you're kind of stuck right now. Right. Whatever is blocking that seems to be the thing that really is bumming the water signs out that they can't seem to expand their horizons in whatever, you know, way. Exactly. Uh, water signs. You can't seem to pull a plan together. All right. So, <laughs> it's another wand. So, um... How are you dealing with the situation, uh, water signs? It's the Knight of Wands reversed. And probably despite some things that maybe feel like limitations, you're still trying to make some moves, but you're not doing them um, really with any kind of 
I hate to use the word again, agency, but but also the sense of really um, abilities or commands there. Like you just, it sort of feels like you're going through the motions, but you're not really expressing yourself exactly the way you want. And so you're maybe sort of doing imposter syndrome. Maybe that's how you're dealing with this. I don't know about that stuff. <laughs> I just okay. don't know. Uh, I, I, but it's, Valid. I just don't know. I almost feel water signs. How you're dealing with this is very haphazardly, not with care. Uh, I think that you feel a sense of stagnation, lack of growth, of lack of, you know, you're feeling this lack of movement very strongly, and you just can't seem to formulate a way out. You're not sure what to do and so nothing is growing right now nothing is is moving uh, usually you're pretty fast paced what you might be doing i will say this you might be filling your time with mindless activities uh just to just to kind of dampen down the sense of uh, lack that you're feeling in some area of your life, this, this sense that you want to do something, but you don't know what. So I'm just going to do all these other little things and try to push that back. I guess you got back at me, eh? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. So, all right, card three. Yeah. Why are our feelings justified, water signs? It's a repeat card because you're sad. <laughs> you're gloomy. What else is new water signs? You're well, a little bit um It could unhappy. be that you thought some of these things were starting off to be something better, that you thought that maybe there would be more satisfaction if where not, you were so that yeah. you didn't have that wanderlust. I like and, that. And <clears throat> go on. And no. And no. <laughs> um the, <laughs> What you see is maybe a pause in terms of really being able to press forward with those plans, especially if you thought they were really going to bring you something enjoyable. Yeah, I think that I think that you feel some sense of disappointment and unhappiness over either not being, like he said, happy where you are, or uh, you're unhappy with the ability to come up with a plan moving forward to change that. And that's especially true when we think about the first card. Yeah. So how do we turn that frown upside down? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, dear. Well, it's a page of cups reversed, and I would suggest that... You have to start tapping into your inner, your intuition more, your inner knowing, your gut here. What is it telling you you need to do right now? I think that you need to take some time and explore, you know, explore this further on an intuitive level. And go with it. Don't be afraid to go with it. Sometimes we fear using our imagination, our intuition to help us sort out what our next move should be. And I think that's at play here. And so to turn this frown upside down, you need to start listening to yourself more and what you truly want. You know, the funny thing is, is I feel like going the opposite direction. Okay. This is saying this is not a time to <laughs> necessarily be idealistic mm. about okay, it. That well. It's really more about being practical at this time and to maybe looking at things from a more logical or grounded perspective on not about what you want it to be, but what you may have to work with. I get that. I guess... I guess it could still be both in a way. It could be both, because sometimes the page is about this idea that, you know, your intuition's there, use it. It's as if you're kind of disassociating from it more, and uh, so there's blocks there. But I see your point, absolutely. That's it's a reversed. good point. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it is reversed. And when it's reversed, that's why I'm saying you can't tap into that intuitive knowing as well as you could if it wasn't right. So, so let's, uh, let's go back. Start over. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Three of Wands. Again, this is some real, you know, there's some real, with all these reading, some introspective stuff going on here. Mm -hmm. There's just things you feel are lacking. This is, you know, inside of you. You just feel 
uh, something, you have a wanderlust somewhere, you want to move on in some area of your life, but you can't. You can't seem to find your way forward. It's hard making a plan or strategy, and it's frustrating. Water signs, you may actually feel, too, that maybe the opportunities are now diminished or don't have the same luster or have maybe certain, you know, conditions or limitations. And um, how are you dealing with it? Well, not very well. You know, you might not be, you might not be moving forward at all. You might just feel stuck. You might also feel uh, a little bit temperamental about it. You could be acting out. I didn't say that the first time, but it's possible here. You know, with that fire raging in the night of the night of wands, uh, but you just can't seem to move things forward. That's how you. So, in other words, you're kind of just rolling with standing still and wallowing in this instead of trying to find a way forward. You're finding a hard time to even see confidence in yourself. So yes. you're you're probably, you know, doing this to yourself in a way. And so are your why are your feelings justified? Because you're unhappy. Uh you thought that this could bring you, you know, some you you want some joy to return in your life. You're not feeling it right now where you are, yet you seem stymied in the ability to move yourself out of that. You may actually feel like you can't change this. And ultimately, my personal feeling, um, I see where Mr. O was going. I kind of feel you need to tap back into your intuition and your gut. What is it telling you? Have you lost, uh, you might have lost your connection, you know, to, to the more imaginative, creative, uh, intuitive side of yourself. And you need that wisdom right now, I feel, to help turn this around. And on contrary, it, maybe it's also possible, true, too, that you feel you need to approach this in a more logical, uh, grounded manner, and that maybe you need to be less idealistic about this. But we both agree that maybe both of these could be true. Yeah, but, uh, whichever resonates with you. Good luck with that water signs. All right. Oh, do you want these? Yes, I think I do. <laughs> A little eager there on the shuffle, Mr. All right, so that means we are now on to the earth signs. Yes, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Capricorn. Where does it hurt? Okay, I'm holding on to Bly for dear life, and I don't know why. <laughs> Let's wait till the world reading for that, Bly. <laughs> I will definitely need you. Actually, I do think I'm shuffling. Shouldn't say anything. I was going to say I'm shuffling a little better here, and I immediately have a problem. All right. Okay. Earth signs. Earth signs. Let's see what's up. What is or will be making you unhappy? And Ooh. it's the Queen of Wands reverse. Ah, that's 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 kind of an unhappy card. It is. I I feel as though well, there's a couple of different things here. You may feel that you are not being taken seriously enough by others. You're trying to impress, or, you know, with your knowledge, skills, talents, abilities. This could be job interviews. This could be even at work. Maybe you're a boss whose uh, team does not respect you. Or maybe you're an employee who feels they're not getting um, appreciated enough for everything that they do. You want to shine your light, and it just seems like nobody is seeing it. Well, there are many different possible contexts yes. here, but the basic idea is that you sort of feel invisible, unnoticed, ignored, um, or you're you're not aware of your own ability to be more charming or to be more uh, charismatic. It could be even if you are attracting um, more, wanting to attract love in your life. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, therefore, uh, how are you dealing with this, or how will you be dealing with this? And bam, third Wow, time. a three-peat. Ace of Cups reversed. 
well, you you know, you feel well, you're disappointed. You're unhappy. That's how you're dealing with it. I think you're falling into a little bit of a, a funk here. You know, this could be the beginning of a little bit of a depressive cycle for you. If you especially if you are especially if you are looking for external gratification. You know, if you're looking for this praise or compensation, whatever the case may be from others at this time, uh, obviously it's disappointing. You know, this is a time I usually tell people, be nice if you just um, played less importance about how other people feel about what you do, as long as you know you're doing the right thing and what is good. Earth signs, you know, of course, yeah, that signs. we cannot give any kind of advice in terms of you need to have a therapist or you need to have a counselor. But I think when you look at these cards, this really is sort of you saying you accept this idea that maybe they're, oh, you know, it's a feedback wow, loop in nice a sense, so. you know, and you sort of alluded yeah, to that too. Yeah. There's a feedback loop going on and that you are dealing with this by saying, I'm accepting this as kind of a default or a norm in my life. And that may be a way of coping with it, but it may not be the healthiest way of coping. I like that. You know, are you living your life in the shadows right now because? Uh, you know you're too insecure with your with yourself and how people view you. Let's take a look at the third card. So the third card is why are your feelings justified? Yeah, and it's the Empress reversed. Well, you feel somewhat spent. I almost feel this is about you feeling that others may be taking advantage of you in some way. I look at that one way here, you know, because this is about self-care, but it's also the Empress is very much about nurturing others. The Empress makes things grow. And so when it's reversed, it's saying here that it's possible that people have been taking advantage of that good nature. Uh, it's also possible, too, that... Maybe you need to focus some of that stuff on you. Well, when you look at your life, I think, Earth Signs, what this card is saying is you look at yourself and you don't necessarily feel like, yeah, people are taking advantage of me, but it is sort of happening that people do not necessarily give back to you. Once again, we're going to this yeah. feedback kind of cycle here. Uh -huh. You're able to see this for yourself in real time that somehow, you know, people are overlooking you, the idea about being invisible. So I think this thing is very much something that right now comes to you as something you need to handle in some way or the other, that you, you feel there is a cycle going on here. All right, so how can you turn that frown upside down? Mm. It's the Nine of Wands reversed. Well, you know what I think here? You have to surrender these thoughts. I think you have to, this is not saying, well, I just have to accept things as they are. No. I think what you have to do is surrender these negative thoughts about yourself and realize that, you know, you should move on to more supportive people, conditions in your life, things that will really bolster your confidence and make you feel better about yourself. Now, I really like that. And of course, this isn't applying to every single Correct. earth sign out there or every single part of your life. This may be only partaking to somebody with a real specific situation. And that's why I like what you said so much, because this is saying whatever that is, you know, if that's some sort of codependent relationship it could you have be with a somebody, relationship, yeah. you are best served by really drawing that line in the sand and, and staying on your own side of it and saying, if you also commit to becoming more healthy, maybe we can find where our intersections lie in the future. But we both have to do that. And I can only commit as an earth sign or whatever to doing it for myself. Everyone else has to commit to doing it for themselves. You're not an earth sign. I know, but I'm just sort of presupposing. And plus, just, I have a lot of Capricorn in my You chart, do. So. I have a little. All right. So um, let's wrap it up. 
Well, it's it's so self-explanatory, really. Yeah. You're feeling like you're left in the shadows or being underappreciated for everything that you do, right, roughly. Exactly. Uh, you're unhappy. Uh, it may be that you could fall into a big funk over this and you know especially if you're lacking self-confidence this could be a real crutch and as Mr. O said you know there's no shame in getting any counseling or even life coaching you don't necessarily need you know it may not be a mental breakdown of some sort don't let this create a pattern yeah, right don't let it be a feedback loop and um I think that maybe dial some of the attention that you give towards others, towards yourself and your yeah. own needs at good, this time. I think mm -hmm. that your feelings are justified. And so therefore, start looking after you and start thinking more positively about you. And ultimately, let go of the people or the situations in your life that are making, that are helping you feel this way. I mean... <clears throat> It's I like not what you always said, external. A surrender, you yeah, know? surrender it. It's not always, you know, necessarily other people's faults that you feel that way. These are your feelings. You have to deal with it, and you have to know when to let it go. Let and and if letting it go means moving on and finding new friends, a new job, a new living environment, then so be it. Namaste, Earth Signs. <laughs> Good luck with that, Earth Signs. Wow, these are long readings today, aren't they? Well, now <laughs> we now, have to find out where does it hurt world. I'm scared already. Our collective reading for the world, the same as you just saw, we basically ask the same questions, and we think of more of a global consensus. So this may not exactly be 100% true for everybody, every part of the world. It is a synthesis maybe of what seems to be going on and, you know, to the degree that it can be possibly coped with or understood. That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try. What he said. What I said. And, of course, we do this... Every fourth quarter of the moon, as the moon yeah. moves to that fourth quarter. That's right. So this reading, and we should always say that in the beginning. Maybe you can put a little note in yep. there. But this reading really is about, uh, you know, from for the entire fourth quarter, you'll be dealing with these issues or trying to work through them. Some will work through things faster than others. And again, so, it doesn't apply to everybody in the astrological signs. Um, you know, this is a collective reading. Take what you can. And this is for the world. So where does it hurt world? world? Did you making, shuffle? You did. I did. What is making the world unhappy? Guess what? It's a repeat card. Oh, <gasps> dear. It's the reverse nine of wands. What's making us unhappy as a world is how unprepared we are for something. Is it for, like, a major conflict? Is it for climate change? Is it for... Um, you know, economic downturn? Uh, is it for even the fragility of some of our infrastructures and how we were just having a conversation about that, how, how you know, terrorists or governments, hostile governments could possibly damage infrastructure and cripple, you know, a society? What makes the world unhappy is that so many forces of aggression are making people feel like they have to stand down and abide it and Ooh, just retreat yes. from it or surrender There's from it. There's a sense of surrendering from, uh, you know, from people who may be strong-arming us in some way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Ooh. it just applies to a number of situations we don't need to elaborate. No, of course. It's worldwide, really. So, okay. Um how are we dealing with this? How, are, how, how is the world dealing, dealing with, it? with it? Wow, it's another card of letting go. Again, but or, this may not be healthy. Or is it a card of throwing money at it? Throwing money at it. At the problems of the well, world. Well, it's letting go of things. Sure. Uh, could be letting go of money. Maybe it's letting go of our, our uh, greed. You know, maybe it's letting go of this attitude of, of uh you know the the rich getting richer the poor getting poorer maybe maybe what we need to do i know that's not how we are dealing with it right now but maybe that's how we need to deal with it uh the other and maybe also it's about people having to let go of 
their tough stances, you know, their the things, their bullying posture, so their inability to see things from another side. It could be a little bit of both. I mean, it yeah. could be some people saying like, well, I can spend my way out of this. And we see this with maybe some of the richy rich people. They mm -hmm. feel they can insulate themselves from some of the problems of the world, mm -hmm. whether that's true or not. But also some other people are saying, I need to be more selfless. I need to try to help more, to volunteer more, to give up more. Yeah. So, so it could be both. All right. So why, why are, are these the feelings, feelings justified? Different? Ooh, holy moly. And it's the reversed King of Swords. Holy I do cow. not like the King of Swords. So there's a lot of anger in the world right now. There's a lot of hate. There's a lot of anger. And I feel a lot of these things can be associated with the King of Swords reversed in that there are Leaders among us, not all in the U.S. either. Let's look at Russia. Let's look at Israel. Let's look at a number of hot spots in the world right now that know how to use anger and hate to their advantage to manipulate people. And quite frankly, uh, this is, uh, you know, a good analog for injustice saying that maybe, you know, exactly. too many people are getting away with crime or with injustices. Uh, yes. And, and this is why we feel this way, is that there's no accountability. There's nobody who really is putting order to things, or that's how we feel. Can we turn this ship around? How can we turn this frown upside down? It's the Seven of Wands reversed. Okay. Maybe we have to all be less defensive with one another. I think that's one way. That's nice. You know, it's like we always feel as though everybody, you know, some of these people feel everybody's out to get me. Everybody's out to put me in my place, to put my country in my place. Maybe if we start adopting a less defensive attitude, we let our guard like down that. a little bit, we might be able to negotiate with one another. Well, even though in a noble way, when the card is upright, it talks basically about one-siderism, you know, one side against the many. Yeah. So when you reverse it, maybe it's saying like, let's bring all sides together. Let's try to find a consensus that we can all deal with yeah instead of one trying to outdo the other all the time okay. you know one person on how about everybody standing on that higher ground hmm interesting let's go back and recap okay. so wow this is just like a crazy they're all it been very itself, interesting yeah. readings this time i'm sorry I, i'm not bragging i just think they're fascinating but the nine of wands the nine of wands reversed indicates that uh we're not prepared for something as a world we keep struggling we keep just a lot of us just want to quit you know we just want to give up and allow ourselves to be um uh, bullied and boxed into our corners. And, you know, it's happening all over the world, but it could be talking about authoritarianism, too, that a lot of people oh, yeah. capitulate and will, you know, uh, give in to it. And we don't want to see that happen again, but that's what's making us feel this way right now. And, you know, like right now in this country, in the U.S., something that just popped into my head is this idea that there are going to be a lot of people who are undecided about who they're going to vote for for president, you know, you know, there may be third party, there may be, uh, you know, one side or the other, Republican or Democrat, but they have a feeling there's going to be a lot of people giving up and not voting at all. Ooh, that's so funny. that's a way also of giving up your power. Ah, so let's go here. So um, How are we dealing? How are we dealing with this? Uh, well... <laughs> Again, this kind of giving, a, I won't say it's giving up, because that, I like what some of the things you said there about giving things away. We have to be more flexible. We have to be more open. We have to be more, um, not just receptive, but also be willing to give out, you know, and I think here and let go of some things that we, that no longer serve us, you know, and that could be up here. 
Some people may think in addition or likewise right. that they can buy their way out of this or that they can find a way to give up enough things to get this. So some people, and of course it's a reflection on the, uh, on the authoritarianism too, that some people think it's not going to come for me yeah. yet. Well, how do we, well, well I'm sorry. Are our are feelings fe justified? Are our feelings justified? When we're dealing with real uh, manipulative leaders who know how to use hate and intolerance and anger to their advantage, uh, yeah, our feelings are justified. Right. We feel uh, justified because maybe there, it's really clear that there's a lot of injustice that is hard to fight. And it could be downright criminality, frankly. So how do we turn that frown upside down? By saying enough's enough. Enough's enough with fighting with each other. Why can't we find, why can't we all stand on that higher ground? Why can't we raise each other up instead of tear each other down? It clarifies what some of the other cards are kind of saying, which is that basically, rather than you know submitting to the mightiest, the one rule, the the one sidedness, that we have to find a way together. We have to try to work together. Exactly. exactly. Nice, nice readings today. And um, it was. I hope you enjoy and get something out of these readings. We Please really, let us know. we really think there's a lot of value in the readings in the show. So, hey, if you have any comments, do let us know. We'd love silly, to hear from you. We're silly enough to think that, of course, it's a misnomer, the unhappy hour, because we really are trying to give you some good advice or some perspectives to think about in terms of what may be bumming you. And by the way, you know, if you, if you are tarot readers out there, by the way, feel free to take this spread and use it for yourself. Yeah, this is a perfect reading for individuals as well as for collectors. <coughs> So that's what we have for you this time around. Until we see you again for another unhappy hour. In about a month. When the moon turns to the next fourth quarter. All right. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.